channel. So today we are reviewing the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage Foundation and this Real Techniques Metal Diamond Beauty Sponge. So you guys, I'm not going to talk about it because you're going to see in this video how I apply the foundation, my thoughts and my review with a couple of check-ins. So if you guys want to see all of that, <laughs> then please continue watching. All right, you guys, so as you know, we are testing out the new L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage Foundation. I'm super excited to finally be testing this out. I'm glad I got my hands on it. I got it in shade 312 Cocoa, which is probably going to be super, super dark. But the other shade looked like it was going to be too light, so we're just going to roll with it. And if you guys didn't see the haul video, make sure you check it out. But I'm going to be testing it out using this new Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection um, Diamond Sponge because I couldn't find the L'Oreal Total Coverage or Infallible Line Sponge. It's like sold out everywhere. I swear it's so stupid. Everybody's display got like two sponges, so that's silly. They got like two of each sponge, and the face one was sold out, so... We're just gonna roll with this one. As you guys may have noticed, I kind of moved my beauty desk and my lighting and things like that so that the background was a little bit better because you could always see the doors and like if anybody walked by, you could see that. I felt it was a distraction. So I moved it around, so I hope that's a little bit better for you guys. And I also like played around with my lighting a little bit. So I hope that this is nice and bright and you guys can really see my face and eyes. Obviously, we have the eyes done. I just don't have my lashes on yet, but I am going to start off with the Estee Edit Beam Team Hydrate and Glow for my moisturizer and primer today. I already went ahead and dampened up the diamond blender, and now it's like pretty good size sponge. It's really soft too, so that's exciting. I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation directly to my face so I don't make a mess here. Alright, so hopefully that's enough. Now we're going to take the flat side of the blender and go ahead and start blending that right into the face. Okay, first things first, this foundation is definitely full coverage. And the blender is not bad, you guys. I like it because look how fast I just got like the bottom of my face blended up. So now we're going to take the smaller side and get underneath the eyes and down the nose. So, so far, I like the convenience of the sponge. It makes it easier to get into those areas that you might struggle getting really close in, like close to the eyes and under the wing. So I like that. I also like these flat sides because you can really get close to the hairline without getting the foundation in your hair and you guys know that I have a problem with that. I usually end up with tons of foundation in my hair. So that's nice. And I said that and just rubbed a ton of foundation in my hair. Nice job, Sheena. foundation is like a little bit too dark. I think it'll be fine because once we get the powder on, I think it'll look a lot better. It won't be so, so ba-bam because I'm looking really, really orange. Like I've been in a tanning bed or something. So hopefully once we get the rest of the makeup on my face, it'll be fine. Nice. I really like this. The coverage is definitely, definitely really good. 
feels nice and lightweight. It dries down matte, but not like super, super dry. Like it feels comfortable. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of the makeup on my face, and then I'll be back with the finished look, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the foundation and the sponge. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and finished off my face, and I just want to zoom in really quickly so you guys can kind of see how the foundation is laying on my skin. And actually, even though it's really dark, I mean, when you start looking down at my chest, it doesn't really match too well, but I did blend out the neck. But for the most part, the foundation, um, once I got the powder on, like I said, it really doesn't look bad. So here's a close-up of how the foundation is laying on my skin. It's really smooth, really matte. Okay, you guys, so the claims on this foundation is that it lasts up to 24 hours. It's full coverage weightless feel. So I'm going to say that so far it definitely is full coverage. I'm going to have to give it a 10 on that. Weightless, I'm going to have to give it a 10 on that because it doesn't feel like I even have anything on my skin. It's amazing the way it feels. Um, this is it gives a natural finish and I'm definitely going to have to go with about an eight on that one because it does kind of give you a natural finish but sometimes when you're really really super matte it also gives you that airbrush kind of fake finish <laughs> um not that it looks bad or anything like that but you guys kind of know what i mean so i'm gonna give it an eight on that uh texture air light like i said and coverage is high complete so that's all well and good um, it says that it covers imperfections and gives you an even skin tone. So I'm going to have to give it a 10 on that. So far, I am really liking this foundation, but you guys know that I love the L'Oreal Infallible line. Um, this just might be my favorite yet, but we will see as the day goes on. Right now, it is currently 12.03 in the afternoon, and I'm going to try to do two check-ins. Another one this afternoon once I pick my daughter up from school or on the way um, because my dash cam did come today which is awesome and then I will do another one tonight before I go to take my makeup off and get ready for bed so I want to talk a little bit about the sponge here as you guys can see I did get it fairly clean so for those of you who are worried about the fact that the sponge is white it actually really didn't stain and I just used my Zote soap like I do for all of my brushes and beauty blenders um, I don't like the bottom part of this, how it tapers out and it's really small. As you guys can see, it is super flimsy, like it might break off. So as I was like blending under the eye, it kept like bending, which I didn't like. Um, maybe if it had tapered out kind of like a little bit thicker on the bottom, that might have been more of a plus. I don't like that, but I do like the bottom side of the sponge because I was able to blend my foundation out so fast. Um, I like that, like this is like, half my cheek over here so that's amazing I also liked the flat top part this was really good for getting up here close to the hairline so that I didn't get foundation in my hair which is another reason why I have my bangs clipped up today because I figured that would be a little bit better for the review so you guys can kind of see how the sponge worked for me I normally don't clip my bangs up I think my forehead's big but there's that um, and I also like these sides right here because I was able to take that and blend really close to the nose. I also think that's going to be great for cream contour, which I'm going to be trying out and kind of getting into. So I'll be using this sponge again. So I'm definitely going to have to give this sponge an eight. Um, I definitely like it. It is super soft. It kind of feels like the beauty blender. You know how sometimes you get a sponge and you're like, man, this isn't soft at all. This is extremely hard. And I also like the fact that once it's got damp it did get a little bit bigger but um it didn't retain the water you were able to just squeeze it out and it's just nice and damp like there's no you, i'm squeezing right now and there's no water still dripping out of it so so far this is a really great sponge good job real techniques i know they're coming out with a lot of new brushes and products so i'll be excited to get my hands on new brush sets and review those for you guys anyways i'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I will be back to check in in a couple of hours, probably around 3 o'clock or so. It is snowing here, so I don't think I'll be going anywhere else. Although I would like to kind of get out of the house, but I think it's going to be a pretty chill day. So I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. 
Hey you guys, so first check-in of the day. It is about 4.15 p.m. and in my opinion, my face is still looking pretty good. Still very matte, except for like the highlight areas, as you can see. <laughs> Those are all glowing, but I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see close up. Okay, so you guys can see that it is still wearing very well. Not really missing any. I always have the issue where my foundation sinks into my fine lines. You know, your smile lines, but still looking flawless. So since I've been wearing this foundation, I'm going to tell you my opinion and the dupe for this foundation. Well, what I think is the dupe. So I think it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay. And the reason why I'm saying that, I mean, this one says 12 hour wear, this one says 24 hour. So if that proves to be true, which nobody wears foundation for 24 hours, which you shouldn't anyways, <laughs> don't go to bed in your foundation. So um, if that was proven to be true, then this one would have longer wear. But they both say full coverage and they both are like clay-like texture, kind of moussey like Um, when I applied them, they look the same. So this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay, and I'm just going to do a dot of that on my hand here. just want you guys to see. So you guys see the texture of this looks pretty moussey. And like, it's very smooth. If you own the Tarte Amazonian Clay, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, and now I'm going to do a dot of the... L'Oreal right next to it. Literally come out of the packaging the same. You would think that Tarte just squeezed it into L'Oreal bottle. So, okay, here we go again. Looking moussey and then blending down the same. Same smoothness and everything. Color-wise a bit different, but they feel identical and they both feel very weightless on the skin. So, if you guys have ever wanted to try out the Tarte Amazonian Clay or you ran out of it, you just can't afford it, or you just think the price is too steep, give the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage a try. I promise you will not be disappointed. And if you love the Tarte Amazonian Clay, definitely give this a try because you will see for yourself that it is a freaking dupe. So that is it for this check-in. I will be back in a couple of hours for one last check-in and my final results. All right, you guys, so we're on our very last check-in. It is 8 o'clock p.m. It's a little early to be doing my last check-in, but I have to get my daughter in the bath and ready for bed. I decided to go ahead and do the last check-in before I didn't get to it. I'm going to go ahead and take my glasses off, and I'm going to zoom you guys up closer. Please ignore the glasses marks on the side of my nose or if foundation is removed because my glasses have been sitting there all day. All right, you guys, so this is what the foundation looks like, and I believe I put this foundation on at about 11, and I was finished with my whole face at 12. So this foundation has held up really well. So I'm going to have to give this L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage Foundation from the drugstore a 10. Yes, I know that's like going out on a limb and rating a drugstore foundation very high, but you know what? L'Oreal has not let us down. The Infallible Pro Matte and the Infallible Pro Glow, those were wonderful foundations too. This one is simply amazing. This is definitely my favorite out of the three. You get 1.0 fluent ounce, whereas in the Tarte Amazonian Clay, you get 1.7 fluid ounce, but this foundation is about $40, whereas this one is a little less, well, it's about $10. I think I got it from Ulta, so I paid $13 for mine, but still a very great price. I definitely recommend that you try it out. Um, I think it's going to be good for all skin types. I have very dry skin, but it hasn't made me look patchy or... I haven't gotten really dry throughout the day. I still look pretty flawless. Actually, if anything, some oils may have came through at this point. I mean, I look 
kind of dewy right now and that could just be the lighting so I definitely recommend if you have oily skin to try this out just like I say with the Tarte Amazonian clay I think this is good for oily skin because it's super super matte and normally it's not good for people with dry skin but this foundation did not let me down I definitely approve I love it so if you see it snag it up get your hands on it and if you already purchased it and you've been using it leave it in the comments down below how you've been liking it I love to hear you guys opinions or your input or just how you're really liking something and if there's anything you want me to try leave that in the comments down below as well 2017 is our year you guys so start letting me know what you guys want to see leave me comments of things you want me to try out also I have a new makeup Monday series getting ready to start we are moving on to a new palette I'm not sure what palette we're going to be dipping into quite yet um, but no makeup Monday today because we are reviewing this foundation and I haven't chosen a palette yet. Anyways, you guys, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to all social, social media link down below. Get it together, Tashima. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. It's truly the best makeup you can wear. I love you guys so much and I will see you next video. Bye.